fairies it's joe from angels and ancestors and lovelies this is your law of attraction reading for december 2020 we're going to get you an energy card out for december and it flew so it really meant it dream time and creation how beautiful is that let's get your cards out Have some cards for Aries for their law of attraction reading. Thank you. See how many we've got. Move that over a bit, make sure you can see it. Blimey Aries, you nearly got a whole reading out in one go. There's one sticking out there. Can I have a resistance card, please? Can I have a resistance card? Yeah, not that many. For Aries, please. Thank you. And then a destiny card, please. Lovely. Okay, my lovelies, let's just get your happiness card out, which is that one. That came out really quick, didn't it? So, my lovelies, your energy, your thoughts and feelings at this time you have dream time and this is creation you are creating a whole new world for yourself Aries whether you are up with the law of attraction you know about the law of attraction I'm kind of getting that you've been practicing it whether you know the name for it or not uh, which is manifestation and wish fulfilling for yourself um, and I'm getting that you are in creation mode there is a desire for you which you understand for this creation to happen i'm getting that a lot of this is happening within your dream world um and you think it's so good that you are actually adopting it into your uh, real world brilliant absolutely fantastic state to be in i like that card a lot it if you look at it, it does look like a lot of chaos. But in creation, when you are making something, um, a lot of it can feel chaotic to start with until you start pulling all the threads together. So don't be worried if things go a little bit wrong or you have to adjust things here and there and tweak things. That's absolutely fine. Just make sure that when you're tweaking and adjusting that you do it in a positive term so that the universe gets the idea that it's not a mistake that it's actually something that can be built upon. So lovely is your manifestation, making a wish, manifesting, speak or write what you want, ask, believe and receive. You are bringing yourself back into a mightily amount of balance. This is the eight of a famous. This is you understanding that there needs to be the right amount of balance and understanding the positives and negatives of that. Now, when you're manifesting this type of thing, I kind of get that maybe for a while that you have been juggling your balancing. You've kind of like been doing a Libra on everybody Aries where you've been a bit up and down. You're not, not knowing whether you're coming and going like Pisces does. Um, but this is helping you. This angel is helping you bring your chakras into alignment they're asking you to balance those swords and i know that looks a bit gruesome that side um but it's in the balancing of the swords that you start to understand the difference between the positives and the negatives and i'm getting that you've been asking for assistance around that for a long time and finally your manifestation is making sense not just to you but to the universe as well so darlings don't forget that when you're doing this 
you can actually just put it out there into the universe you can write about it you can speak about it you can scribe you can do a logbook a dream board even all of that sort of thing to try and bring it in to balance what it is that you want so if it's like work life balance and you still haven't got that right get a dream board and pin up what it would take for you to get that into balance um pin a dream board up if it's if it's the difference of where you live now where you would like to live pin up what you would like where you'd like to be on the dream board and envisage yourself doing that move and then become your author or your storyteller be your own author tell your story as if it's happened give it feeling and emotion so if you are in the mood that you want to get up and move there's something somewhere else you would like to be um, imagine that's happening imagine that you have got the place that you've wanted the place of your dreams the van has just turned up to do the removals and you're on your way how do you feel excited happy tearful um, reflecting all that sort of stuff how does it feel how does it feel to step through the door of your dream house in your dream area how does that feel is there safety there is there comfort there what is it what what is it that makes you tick around um, your wish fulfillment your manifestation so those two always go together the manifestation the storyteller because they are arm in arm they are arm in arm you are the author of your story so when you're manifesting that's what you have to keep in mind is if you read a book it has a beginning a middle and an end and that's exactly what they do say is ask what is your beginning ask believe actually do the journey write the actual story as if it is happening and the end of your story is that you are in receipt of what it is that you're manifesting so guys I'm going to skip the resistance and go on to these first and then I'll come back and do your resistance afterwards um, cleaning and clearing stop self-limiting or restricting clean away negativity and doubt forgive yourself and start saying sorry and I know everybody's going what am I saying sorry for you're not saying sorry about anything you're saying sorry to yourself for not recognizing yourself you're saying sorry to the universe for anything that you've played a part in that's given you some negative thought or negative doubt um, forgive yourself it, that's huge um, it's okay to have negative thoughts it is we all do it we're human beings we are not an angel we are not a celestial being we are humans we are here to learn we will make mistakes but if you can get into a place where you can forgive yourself and you can honestly say okay I've done that it's done dusted I've sorted I've forgiven myself for it I've said I'm sorry for it so that's the first part of the mantra please forgive me I am sorry um, and that is for you it's for you and whoever it is that you believe in your universe your source your divine whoever it is you may not have one but you have to believe in yourself because you exist and don't say or oh, do we because I'm not going to even go into that bit so lovelies in this position where you have got your clear cleansing and clearing and stop self limiting you have got the five of earth no you haven't you got the six of earth even this is like the six of pentacles this is the understanding of plenty this is something coming in where you are going to wholeheartedly be able to bring in a crop bring in um something that you've sown and then be able to offer it out to other people now i know it shows that there's chains that bind you um, and this is all about learning with learning to give with dignity and grace and it's about taking those chains off that bind you and ridding yourself of those because charity starts with number one charity is learning not to restrict 
take those binds off. If you've been told something repetitively all of your life or something's been passed down in the family that you've bought into um, that is negative around you, that will bind you just like these chains will. And what you want to do is give out Aries. You want to give. You want. You want. You don't just want to be bound. And what I'm hearing is, is that you've started this by this creation. You've started to look at what your beliefs are around you, and you've started to cleanse and clear yourself. Um, you understand that they're binding you, and you're unbinding those chains. You're unbinding yourself in order to be able to give out to other people um, and to yourself don't forget yourself in that equation when you are giving with dignity and grace it is all about a kind word it's not about what you have to give it's what part of you you're willing to give are you willing to have that conversation at the news agents with the old boy who doesn't get to see anybody all week until he goes down to the news agents and picks up his Saturday paper. What about the young mum who sits at the bus stop every day? She's out working every day. She doesn't see her child apart from when she's dropping them off and picking them up from daycare. Are you going to offer her a kind word? Giving with dignity and grace. It doesn't have to be about money. It doesn't have to be about physical items. It can just be a part of you that you give in that moment. Because let me tell you, if you give in that moment, if you give something of yourself to somebody in that moment, that person will treasure that and then that becomes their positive and they pass that on to other people. And it has a knock-on effect. So when you're cleansing and you're clearing, even if you find it difficult to get the concept of that, the easiest way to do cleansing and clearing, I think, um, is to write a positive and a negative list. The things that you like about yourself and your life and the things that you don't. And as you resolve the things that you don't or you turn it into a positive, cross it out with a big black pen. Because crossing that out is like getting rid of that limitation, getting rid of that restriction, getting rid of that negativity. And it's just having done with it. So Aries... Your inspiration and your action. I'm getting that you get very inspired, Aries. However, you have the nine of fire. And this is your throat chakra has been blocked with thorns. You've wanted to say something. You've wanted to put stuff out to the universe. And you haven't been quite sure that it sounds right. It doesn't have to sound right. It's just got to be positive. You now understand the burn in the pit of your belly is a desire that needs to come out. And you are learning beautifully with that rose um, to start voicing your opinion. As the bud of the rose opens, you are able to verbalise what it is that you want, where you want your life to take you, why you're feeling a bit prickly about life. And getting rid of that negativity. You understand that. So your inspirations that come to you. Maybe fleetingly. Maybe there's been one that's stuck with you for a while. Do something about it. The universe likes action. Get on the internet. Do some research about that inspiration that you've had. Get it written down. What was it that inspired you? Get it written down. What was it? How do you feel about it? All of that stuff. Be the author, again, about your inspiration. Um, believe you can get your dreams. Believe it. Believe in your dreams. Again, we're going back to the manifestation. Having that belief that your dreams can come true. And most of all, those believe in you. Believe you can do this. You can do this. You can take action. Those inspirations are given to you by the universe and they're only given to a scattering of people. But if you don't act on it, let me tell you, somebody else will. And a few weeks down the line, you'll go to the paper or you'll see something on the telly and somebody has actioned the thought you had. So if it's something you... 
burning that you really want to do, action it and the universe will help you make sure that that is put into place. So going back to your resistance card, what is blocking your manifestations, your wishes, what's blocking you from um, lifting that self-limiting attitude is healing. Now, when I laid this down, I got a, two real quick messages came in. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. So the first message was, for some of you, um, you've made healing your quest. And you're doing so much of healing that you're kind of forgetting to do the other stuff. So you need to incorporate your healing as you're going along, but not overdo it. And then there is the other side of you, which is the, the bigger and the more majority of you, is that you are resisting healing altogether. You're holding on to your hurts like they are a badge of fucking honour. They're not. Nobody's interested. Nobody wants to know about them. Yes, you was hurt 35 years ago. Let it go. Deal with it. Heal with it. Use that experience to make a positive experience. What happened to you in those 35 years? Did you go on to get married? Was your marriage successful? Did you have children? Are they the light of your life? Do you know, being hurt 35 years ago may have led you down a different pathway, but it's led you to a lot of different blessings than you would have experienced if you'd, been, if you'd stayed within that energy. So if you are resisting going through the healing process because you are holding on to something, now is the time while you are practicing this, even if you don't know what it's called, now is the time for you to let go and get rid of those old feelings. Just have done with them. Because that, that resistance is the thing that's holding you back. If you're saying, I don't need to heal, what the universe is hearing is that you want more hurt. I don't need to heal from that. I want to hold on to that. So you go, okay, we'll have some more then. Here you go. Whereas if you're going to the universe and you're saying to yourself wholeheartedly, I really want to heal from this. I, I want to use the experiences of that to move myself forward into a positive frame of mind and a positive energy the universe is going to hear positive energy oh let's chuck a bit of that there way and it will open your eyes to what it has done for you positively that may be shielded from you because you're doing the shielding so darlings i love you the most three powerful words in the world say them often start with you and let the love flow to others. And yes, in your head is fine. And you have faith. I love you. Have the faith that you can love yourself. That you can start looking in the mirror. And actually saying, I love you. Just like your mum would have done. Your dad would have done. Lovers do. Just love yourself. Um. You've got the faith card for a reason. Um, I heard, oh ye of little faith, which is one of my favourite sayings. Um, you need to build on your faith that you can do this, that you have got the ability to have the faith to know that you can love yourself. Um, you know, And if you see yourself in negative terms, why? Search the reason why. You see yourself in negative terms. Is that being fed to you by other people? Is that data that you need to clean and clear out of the way? Has somebody somewhere told you that you're not good looking enough? You're not skinny enough? You're not um, bright enough? You're not qualified enough? All of those are negatives that we actually take on board. What we miss is you are really attractive. Or, you know, you're a handsome man or you're a really beautiful woman. We kind of miss that. We kind of fob it off. Go, oh, no, don't be so, don't talk to me like that. As soon as you do that, it turns into a negative. What you need to do is start saying, oh, thank you. And then try and see yourself from that person's point of view. It's perspective. But I love you. 
say it often, get used to saying it. If you're used to, I tell my son every day, every day without fail, probably three or four times a day, it used to drive him mad as a teenager that I loved him. Mummy loves Charlie, I love you, all of those sort of things. Um, because I wanted him to grow up to know that it's okay for his emotions, for a young person to understand that. Sorry, I was just checking it was still recording, it just did something odd. Um, that as a young man, he hasn't got to hold back, he can have the same emotions as a young woman. Um, because going through life with negativity is just awful and i haven't been able to stop him having negative thoughts about himself but he does tap into the fact that somebody else loves him and that gives him the ability to look at himself and then he gets cocky and he goes yeah people are punching above their weight when they're with me that sort of thing and i know that's really cocky but i'd rather he had that attitude than the opposite attitude so lovelies when you're thinking about yourself think about all the positive things that you like about yourself and if you say to yourself um, there's nothing i like about myself i'm gonna punch you i really mean that because at the end of the day there has to be something either you like your hair your eyelashes something really really small that you can build on there has to be something how you react to people, um, how you react to animals, how animals react to you. There's something you can build on where you can tell yourself that you love you. Because once you get that under back, let me tell you, that just flows out to other people. And other people see your energy in such a different light. They really do. And they emanate towards you. That you get attractive when you've got that energy. Whether you think you're attractive or not, um... When you've got that I love you attitude, things change around you. And I can't explain it to you. You have to experience it. But things get better around you. People who have been negative towards you, who haven't got your best interests at heart, for some unknown reason, once you practice this, they start falling away from you. They do. And it's a natural process. It's not like you're pushing them. It's not like they're... Um, they're doing anything or you're doing anything it's just the universe lifting them up out of the way because you've gone into a completely different energy mode so darlings your next card is your gratitude card now i will read these together because this one is the four of fire this is you you have got something set in your sights that you want and you're aiming and firing so be thankful for everything from the smallest thing to the largest blessing. Attitude of gratitude is a great state to be. Be thankful that you've got something in your sights. Be grateful that you have got that desire going forward. Some people just haven't got it. Some people have got no aims in life at all. So that's where you start. You be grateful for that. You be grateful for you. You be grateful for the life that you've got. And the experiences that you've had so far. Because this faith card, along with your four of wands, is telling me that you're heading towards something very special indeed. You really are. And you need to hold the faith around that. You need to hold the faith that you love yourself and that you're able to emanate out love to other people. And this gratitude that you, you should have and could have um for what it is that you're aiming for um should be immense and the other thing with the gratitude is being thankful for something doesn't have to be the car on the drive the house it it could be the earthworm that you've just noticed wiggling back under the earth into the warmer parts of the earth it's bloody freezing out there at the moment um it could be, that's a really silly kind of thing but it's being grateful like the other day I was really grateful that I was cutting things um I was cutting things back and I noticed that there was a ladybird on the underneath of a leaf and I thought oh my god if I cut all that foliage away she's hibernated there for a reason because she she knows instinctively 
that under that leaf with all that foliage around it, that was a safe place to go to sleep. And I was like, I was really grateful for seeing that. So I left it. I left all those, those, and I thought I can prune that back in March when it starts to get warm and she's, she's, she's flown and, and she's had her babies and all the rest of it. Um, so yeah, so kind of like, think about what you can be grateful for. Um, I, I don't know, it's kind of like taking things back to the bare bones and having the faith that that's right and then building on that from there. And I'm not saying don't be grateful for the big things because you really have to be grateful for the big things. But don't ignore the little things as well because that's huge. And I kind of get Aries that because of that burn and desire for greater and bigger and better things that Aries have um that sometimes you can miss the little things that mean the most and i'll tell you what i'm missing because i don't know why they're not on but my fairy oh there we go i didn't put my fairy lights on and i do like those so and i'm grateful for those because they're not bright and in your face they're just little twinkly lights so lovelies that is your i love you and grateful attitude of gratitude it's a great place to be now we're going to move on to your affirmation um oh my goodness i've just noticed so your affirmation is exactly the same um as capricorn's aries wow let's see if we get the same message from him your affirmation talk about you and your life and what it is that you want in positive terms Stop saying but, can't, won't, if, buts and maybes. They will cancel your dreams and wishes. Now, the king of water is this king. Um, I'm not over keen on him, to be honest with you. He's one of these kings. He will sit at a table with you. He will honour you. Um, he will drink with you. He will eat with you. But he'd be fucked if he's going to tell you how he feels. He is, for me, the Queen of Cups for me is much stronger than the King of Cups. He's a bit, he's a bit wishy-washy for me, to be honest with you. Um, and he's kind of like, in this deck, he's kind of slightly different for me. And I do appreciate it in this deck. Because he really does draw on um, the moon. And that is the triple face, the goddess above him. He is looking at... Um, great things in great depth he's looking at growth um, and what he's asking you to do with your affirmation is be true to you he's saying don't just sit there and honor other people don't just sit there and appreciate other people honor and appreciate you put yourself in in first place for a while put yourself in that position that if you are willing to go out and cut somebody's lawn, go and cut your own lawn. If you are willing to sit and talk to somebody and comfort somebody because they're upset, except that at some point that you need that back as well. So this is what the King of Water tries to say in, in this particular deck. Is that when you talk about what you want in positive terms... When you put it out to the universe, to your divine, your source, whatever it is that you believe in. And you're saying to them, I want to love myself. They're going to go, yeah, have that. There's loads of love coming towards you. Um, this is the reasons you should love yourself. You can do X, Y and Z. You look like this. You act like this. Your heart's in the right place. All of those sort of things. It is never going to be about money. It's never going to be about what it is that you've got. It's more about what it is that you bring to yourself as a human being. So the other side of putting the affirmation out there in positive terms um, is about not allowing negativity to be fed back to you. So if you start to say something and then you find yourself going, but for, that's a cancellation, it is. So instead of putting the but there, have a think about what it is that you're going to say and skip past the but to something positive. So if you're going to say, um, 
I'm feeling really good about myself today. And then you're thinking, but yesterday I felt like shit. Forget that. I'm really, I'm feeling really good about myself today and I want to feel like this again tomorrow. The universe is going to go, oh, they want to feel like that again tomorrow. Just give them a bit more of that. And that's how you get your affirmations out there about you, about your life. So your destiny card, blessings to look forward to. Darlings, not only have you got dream time and creation, but you've got the maiden. She is this beautiful creature that has just started out on life's pathway. Everything is brand new to her. And I'm getting that with this new creation around you, with this new world that you're building for yourself, with your law of attraction and everything, everything you are seeing, you're seeing from a brand new perspective, like you've never seen it before. Um, just like this maiden's looking at this little white fluffy bunny. Oh, what's that? I'm getting that there's stuff in life that you have missed, that you are beginning to see now but you're beginning to see it in the energy that you would have seen it when you was much younger that's magical that is um a real true blessing is to have your eyes open to stuff that you have missed along the way so your happiness card darling and the last card of the deck what makes you feel good vision quest this is the desert this is you putting yourself out there either in meditation, sweat lodge, steam bath, bathroom, shower, doesn't matter. But your vision quest, it's you having the vision to go out on a quest. And I'm getting that you really like that energy. And I'm getting that maybe you quest an awful lot. Um, but don't forget to finish your quest before you start a new one. And if you've got a vision of what it is that you want to do, if you've got something that you want to um, explore, uh, take yourself to the woods, take yourself along the beach, take yourself even in meditation to somewhere that is really special, that where you can wholeheartedly give yourself that space and that time to do your vision quest to get that vision to come towards you and it may be something that you know is there but you can't put words to it you can't put a picture to it but it's kind of like that feeling that there is something that you want to do but you can't quite put your finger on what it is that you want to do um and i hate that feeling because i feel like i'm out of control when i've got that feeling but when you do a vision quest it kind of draws that to you it allows you to have that space to create so darlings allow yourself the space to create allow yourself the space to grow yourself with this law of attraction it does take practice but lovelies let me tell you i think you're halfway there because i think you've been practicing it without actually knowing what it really was so lovelies Wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.